All right, hello everyone, and peace of the Lord to all of you. Uh, today, our topic is about uh, you know YouTube. Uh, I saw a video uh, uh, made by David Wood. It says that uh, YouTube they ban him from uh, doing live streaming, and you know I have to agree with YouTube. I mean, obviously. Uh, David Wood is being a bad boy. I mean, how dare you? How dare you to break the rules of YouTube? How dare you? <laughs> I mean, how he do that? Don't ever do that. The guideline of YouTube, and you are promoting hate speeches. Hmm. How disgusting. I think we should take him to court. I think we should strip him from his citizenship. I think we should send him to Afghanistan. I think YouTube is perfectly right. I mean, this guy, he broke the rules of YouTube, obviously. Which is can be found in the Quran. YouTube, they got their guideline from the Quran. And I can prove it to you. If we go in the Quran, chapter 5, verse 101, it says, ask not questions. How dare you to ask questions about Islam? I mean, what's wrong with those people? Why David Wood is breaking the golden rules of America? Where there is no freedom of speech, and you cannot ask questions. Obviously, he's mistaken. You question Islam. Actually, you are lucky that YouTube did not label you to be the Antichrist or even to be Hitler. Or in the best scenario, uh, you are, uh, uh, what his name? Uh, the fascist party leader in Italy, uh, Mussolini. I mean, this guy is a question Islam, brother. And not only he is a question Islam, he is a questioning why Islam, Islam consider black color as a bad thing. How dare you? The prophet he consider the devil is a black man. So why you are promoting his speech? The prophet he can say that. You cannot question the prophet. And YouTube are right. Look like YouTube agree with the prophet that the devil is a black man. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, YouTube so, are so cute. I think YouTube is running by a bunch of Barney Sander supporter. Yesterday, I was watching Barney Sanders, you know, uh, video, and there was a bunch of Muslims in the background wearing hijab. The guy, he was saying, I'm going to promote marijuana, uh, legalize drugs, stop war in drugs, blah, 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 supporting... Everything the Muslims supposedly didn't stand for, but yet they are supporting Bernie Sanders because we know the agenda. How in the world you question why the prophet he said that a black man is the devil who will destroy the Kaaba? You cannot say that. The prophet always is right. And you are promoting hate speeches. You cannot oppose accusing the black people to be evil. In Islam, you cannot do that. This is a break the guideline of YouTube. How dare you? I mean, how stupid this YouTube is! How stupid, how donkey the one who gave a band for this guy for saying this is wrong. The Muslims they have videos about beating women, 
keep calling us kuffar which is label of hate speech kuffar is nothing but a hate speech and Muslim they keep calling us kuffar but nobody banned them The Muslims they want to kill the gays, the lesbian, they want to kill the atheists, they want to kill the Hindus, they want to kill the Christians, but nobody take their videos down. But the guy who oppose calling black people evil, labeling the devil that he's a black man, he is doing heat hate speeches. Or why you question? Why? How dare you to question that every black dog have to be killed? You cannot do that. It's a proven scientifically that the black dogs are evil. Or a black cat. Muhammad, he said, Kill every pure black. I mean, you cannot, you know, right? you cannot complain. The Quran says that ask now questions. So how you ask questions? How dare you? The brothers, the owners, the employees of YouTube, they are upset because you are teaching hate speeches. Look like YouTube promoting the idea that everybody should believe that the black people are evil. And if we oppose that, YouTube will ban you. My microphone is acting weird. Now listen to me. My advice to David Wood. First of all, he is welcome to be in my channel anytime. He can call me now, tomorrow, anytime I am live. I will give him the whole time. This is number one. Number two, my friend, make 1,000 back up account. Because the devil will never stop and the devil will not care if you complain, if you are right, if you are wrong. Well, the whole idea is to stop you from talking. So don't give up. Make a thousand account. They restrict one. Go to the other one. People, they will know how to find you. And people will copy your videos. And I heard him actually promote, give him permission for people to copy the videos. You cannot stop us. You are dreaming. You are totally dreaming. We will not allow any cult promoting that evil have to do with the black color and the black people. If guideline of YouTube promote that it's okay to call people black evil, it is not okay for us. So go and take your guideline and make with it zucchini a salad. You can ban as many as you want. You can take my account down. You can do the best you can. But we don't care. For we will speak the truth no matter where, how, and when. Imagine the stupid Facebook. They send me a warning because a Muslim guy I was posting uh, about the black, the same issue. A Muslim guy, he said in text, I, I think I have the picture in my Facebook still because I posted again. Uh, he said, have you ever seen an angel? He is black. So well, I was saying why shaitan is a black person. He said to me, have you ever seen an angel he's black? I said to him, have you ever seen an angel is white? <laughs> As if he saw an angel before the idiot. And because I said that sentence, Facebook, which I call it, excuse my language, as book, they send me a warning. And they ban me from posting for 30 days. You see, they claim to be liberals. They claim again they, they are against racism. They claim, they claim, but the fact they are racist, they are the one who teach hate against the black people. 
and they are the one who stop us when we teach what is right and it's proven every day go and see the video of David what he, what he said what he said nothing he just said how in the world Muhammad he consider a black man the devil why why that is wrong according to guideline of YouTube We have a filthy man, his name is Muhammad. He believed that from the beginning, God, he created the black people to go to hell, as you see in the front of your screen. So we cannot oppose that, because if you oppose that, you are a person who promote hate. And this is the guideline of the silly, stupid YouTube. Liberals. Liberals, what I will tell you about them. They have not only one fuse burned in their brain, almost all of them are burned. What is right, what's wrong, they don't know. It's up to them. They are gods. They control the media. All the big websites for social media are owned by them, sadly. And the second you don't agree with their stupidity, they label you as they wish. The fact you are racist, you too. The fact you are the one who promote hatred, and you are the one who increase hatred because you are oppressing people. But anyway, we will not stop. And please deliver my message to David Wood. He is welcome anytime to go live in my program, and he can take the whole program. I will not even talk. And I advise him, if he saw my video later, to open many accounts as backup. Okay, we'll uh, strike you here, open there. So what? So what? And yes, we will break the rules of YouTube, which is in the Quran, chapter 5, verse 101 ask no questions no we ask questions and we will expose this cult and black people are good people they are not evil and the filthy muhammad he cannot get away with his teaching and cult teaching what about what about even you know the, the liberals they say we love animals you are right you do you don't even love a human Because if you love a human, you will not take the side of Islam considering black people evil. And you will not ban somebody who speak against that. God did not create the white people to go to heaven and the black people to go to hell as this filthy speech of Muhammad saying. God did not create the black animals and they are evil as this speech says You want to kill animals just because of their color So now if we see a black cat in America, we have to obey the Prophet and you YouTube don't have a problem with that If I see a black dog I should shoot him according to you YouTube because the prophet he says the black dog is the devil or what about the prophet saying that the three things will interrupt the Muslim prayer which means their prayer is not accepted a donkey and the women and a black dog women even women are equal to dogs in Islam three things will disturb a Muslim prayer the passing of as women and black dog would youtube consider this a hate speech now because i said what muhammad said where is the movement of the feminist huh? the feminist who hold the sign says we are muslims to support islam they don't even know what islam is about what a bunch of donkeys An ass and a women and a black dog. 
what about YouTube they support those who make videos teaching how to beat your wife as in the Quran teach in chapter 3 verse number chapter 4 verse number 34 My friend we as a Christians According to many reports every six minutes there is a Christian get killed around this earth because of his faith every six minutes and I saw it just last week every six minutes not six hours there's a Christian get killed not jailed because he is a Christian nothing new and we stay the Christians and we will be Christian and me myself as a Christian from the Middle East we suffer a lot which cannot even be described but yet we are still a Christians and let your stupid YouTube try his best we were a Christian before you have internet and we are Christians after you have internet and the Lord he says the earth and the heaven will go and my words will not so keep trying we will speak the truth no matter we are speaking to who and you can do your oppression for your oppression make us stronger not weaker and actually and to be honest with you I got more willing to work when I got uh, you know the feeling that somebody is trying to threat me or somebody trying to oppress me I work harder even though sometimes I am disappointed of the Christians like yesterday we made a video after 12 hours we have 6,000 view if I'm a Muslim I will have 60,000 view because Muslims they work together even though they have a cult Christians they don't care hardly they give a like if they move their hand but that is not really the case they like to watch not to be part of the fight the fight with evil and for sure I'm speaking about the majority a Muslim he make a video attacking Christian Prince or David Wood you will see in, in less than half day he have a 20,000 view not because they are bigger in numbers we are three four times more than them But because they gang together for their cult Christians you know here we go David would he uh, uh, you know they ban him I mean who care right Phew. however we are not doing it for our uh, glory we are doing this for what is right and what's wrong and whatever people they think let them think actually today I wasn't planning to make a video I said to myself let me give them a break maybe they don't even miss me and this is why I have only 6,000 view in the last video which is very weird I mean 6,000 if a woman she is doing uh, makeup training I think she will have 600,000 view a guy making salad recipe he will have at least a 300,000 view we are risking our life not only risking your life do you know what do you know how dangerous what we do you will lose your income they will ban you they will ban you from receiving donation they will ban you from speaking they will ban you from having a job they will they will fight you everywhere everywhere you go Still, we cannot even get a like in the video. People with they think that here we are, you know, this is a this is a joke. This is very very risky. 
the evil all the power of evil they stand against you the second you start speaking the truth the more hypocrite you are the more easy things is ask yourself if a Christian prince today decide to go and apply for a job in a company and they find out that he is a Christian prince how many people will hire him even he have degrees he have many expertise he have he have but how many people will hire him right I think the answer is very easy right actually I know people I, I was once visiting them and they are Christians and they were watching ABN TV and suddenly they heard my voice there this is the first time I met those people I never met them before I saw them in the store they invite me you know the guy he invited me to his house you know uh, so we went to his house and I uh, visited I think first second time something like that and then uh, when I was visiting them they heard me speaking in ABN TV or no actually I think I don't know ABN or Al Karma TV one of them so they said is that your voice I said yeah and guys honest to God they never called me again and they saw me after that in the street and they made themselves as they do not know me you believe it because they are terrified this guy is dangerous many people they want his life if he come to our life he put us in danger too imagine how covered they are so what we do is extremely um, let us say for some people they cannot handle it it's it's extremely stressful but it doesn't matter really for me I just know that they are fake Christians if they are real they should be happy to have me in their houses but because they are fake people coward who don't deserve to be called the Christians and there is many many people like this this is why the Lord he said not everyone says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will there is people who they are ashamed to say we are Christians. I apologize my microphone I think the cable need to be changed Many people they are or they don't deserve to be called the Christians or even to call themselves Christians for they are Christians by name But I will not be one of those And I'm sure many of you who they are listening. They will never accept to be Christians by name so my friend Don't let them feel make you feel That you are no one actually they ban us because we are doing something very big if you are a silly person nobody will care for what you do but because what you do is having a huge impact in society this is why they ban you and the bigger the impact you do the bigger the fight will be on you it's like a ship you know or a building the taller the building goes the more the wind can strike it hardly The little grass will not really hurt too much by a hurricane because it's so low. You get taller, and here we are describing tall, not with size really. It's the size of impact of what you do. The more they feel that you are dangerous to them, the more they try to fight you. I receive thousands and thousands and thousands of death threat. We will find you, we will kill you, we will, we will, we will. But then, you know, I don't care because it might happen. It might happen. But we as a Christians, the Bible teach us, and we are believers, that you can overcome the body but not the soul. Nobody can corrupt my soul unless I agreed with it. And my body is not really important because simply all of us one day we will die in one way in another in the bed getting killed disease 
You never know. But it doesn't matter. What matter is that time will come and people will remember you for good or bad. So you choose what you want to be. When we leave this earth and time will come and we will go. And me, myself, for sure, I will go. But my videos will be all over there. And my books and my writing. And nobody can stop teaching the truth. And the Bible says, and the Lord says, that the truth will set you free. So they are not fighting you, my friend. They are fighting the Almighty God, the truthful, the Messiah. When you see them, they are complaining about a cross in a graveyard. That's because they are possessed in their mind. Even the cross bringing for them a kind of illness. They don't complain about Muslims praying in schools, but Christians, they cannot wear a shirt where having the name of Jesus on it because that is not right. But giving a room for Muslims to pray in universities, it is okay. Or even in airport. My friend, Satan will not let you rest because you did not let him rest. He will let you rest when you let him rest. He is not comfortable because of us. And our existence is a big problem. And the more we speak against him, the more he will oppose us and he will use all the force he have. They have different names, but all of them are the same. Names are not really important and we are not fighting names. We are fighting the devil. So, again, I repeat my message to David Wood. He is more than welcome to be in my program anytime he wish. Until he got his channel back. And I advise him to, to open another backup channels so he can speak again and continue even when they ban him to people who like to hear him. And I don't know how many of you have his video, the one they deleted, but I think already some people downloaded. I think it's a good idea to show support and share this video all over. But just be careful. Change the name of the video. Because first of all, we are breaking no rules. And this is a lie. This is absolutely a lie. We Christians, we don't support hate speech. You cannot be Christian and support hate speech. It's impossible. A Christian, he cannot discriminate people by color or ethnic or language or even by education. A Christian, he have to love his enemy for this is a command of the Lord, the Messiah. Love your enemy, pray for them. So how in the world you can accuse a Christian of hate speech, you coward? liar prove it prove that we teach hate show us the hate which we spoke of but this is the only way they can silence you and this is the only way they think maybe you give up we put stress on you no, my friend. Take that account down. Hey, you know, do you know how many accounts I lost? If I did not lose my accounts, by now I should have at least 2 million subscribers. Each time I receive, like I reach 70, 80,000 subscriber, bingo, the account is gone. But who cares? I make a new one. I have many already. And really, who care? As long people, they still they can get my videos, and my videos will be all over. And that's why, actually, you notice I say to you always, please download my videos, because we knew how much they target me, and you know that. So by downloading the videos and spreading them not only in YouTube, first you have to save them in your 
you know like there's many free uh, storage online free they give you 100 gigabyte you can search them for free and in a hundred gigabyte you can really save a lot of videos from YouTube and then you post them anywhere you can and never give up they take it down post it again because the whole point is how we can stop you from exposing what is wrong that's the whole idea they don't even know you do they know Christian friends they don't there's nothing personal here it is a fight between the devil and the true God this is not a fight between the Christians and the liberals or between the Christians and those who want to kill us this is a fight between what is right and what is wrong it is eternal fight in the same time they try to to you know to to fight us but the fact it always work for our benefit if I show you my Skype, how many people invite me to visit them in their homes? Like I give you an example of somebody, he don't want me to come to his house. He did not say that, but I can't tell no more because I am a Christian prince. But if I show you my Skype, you will not believe it how many invitation I received or I receive even every day to come and visit them and even they will pay for my ticket. always always the Lord he provide you provide you with people who they are good provide you even with income which will support you and provide you with the mean of your fight against every evil around you if the Lord is with me who could be against me who you too what a joke Somebody asking why they did ban David Wood. Let us hear what David Wood said about why they ban him then. Shall we? And a number of media outlets have shared the story, but since I don't trust Facebook or these media outlets to report accurately on something like this, I'd like to see a response from Tommy before I comment. In the meantime, I wanted to take a look at why people are being removed or restricted by all of the major platforms, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Patreon, for doing absolutely nothing that actually violates any rules. Let's take YouTube as an example. YouTube announced in recent months that they were going to start enforcing the community guidelines more strictly. But what they've actually done, as far as I can tell, is simply order their review team to block more videos, whether the videos violate the community guidelines or not. 11 days ago, I posted a video titled, Who Will Destroy the Kaaba? Prophet Muhammad Answers. The video was about Muhammad's prophecy that a black man would eventually destroy the Kaaba. I criticized the prophecy as yet another example of Islam's bias against black people. Two days later, YouTube took down the video for supposedly violating the platform's policy against hate speech. I appealed the decision and posted a video about it. And So now this is what happened, and this is the hadith which he spoke out against, as you see. He did nothing wrong. He is saying that it's wrong to say that shaitan and evil ones are black people. It's a gang mentality and YouTube support gang mentality now look at this uh, liar here obviously he's a Muslim look what he said Sneed Markom CP said he defend all sects of a Christians like Mormon Mormons you are a big fat liar like your father the devil Christian sect they don't include mormon or jehovah's witnesses your donkey christians we don't even have sect christians is anyone who follow the bible and anyone who follow other scriptures other than this which is given to us by the four gospels he is no christian so you are a liar and you are a thief like your father the devil 
I don't support sect I support Christianity whoever believe in me and die he will live not in Orthodox or Protestant or Catholic this is what I support and you are a liar and you get spanking and you deserve it for me I like to see the Christians united a Christian for me is whoever believe in the Father the Son the Holy Spirit in the crucifixion of Jesus in his coming back that only by him we are forgiven and only by him everything was created by him and for him so stop playing your lies in order imagine guys in my present they are lying about me in my present they are lying about me what they will do in my back do you see the devil how it work in my present they are lying about me and i am here what they will do when i am not here cowards and by the way a shoe of a mormon is better 1000 time from muhammad when the last time the Mormon they kidnap people and rape them even we don't agree with them and we don't believe they are Christians but we cannot compare we cannot we cannot compare between Jehovah's Witnesses which we believe totally they are deceived and the teaching of Islam we cannot even though we believe that all lies is coming from one source which is the devil but still, we cannot compare. But the cowards, they always try to make lies about you so you might lose support. This is the whole idea of lying about me or anyone who fight Islam. Well, uh, YouTube, they sent me many messages before. Like you guys, maybe you are not noticing. Don't you see sometime I switch from account to account to account? Don't you notice? So this is because I was banned. <laughs> if you go in YouTube, I will. you will see how many. I mean, uh, I'm changing houses like uh, like uh, what I would like I would say, like an eagle who's, who changed his house by season. I, they keep banning me. I got tons of ban. But David Wood, he speak about it. For me, I don't speak about it because I'm used to it. And you know, okay, what you can do about it anyway? They are controlling. This is a company owned by the liberals. And they will not let you say the truth. I mean, what you can do about it? This is why we created an account in a website. It's called minds.com. And we keep asking people, please go and subscribe to that account. But they don't care. I mean, I don't know what to say about the Christians. We keep saying we have an account in minds.com as a backup. Go and subscribe. It costs you nothing, no penny. But they don't care. Until now, I don't even have 500 people there. After all the talk I did, we have it in the banner there, the account minds that come we have it in the banner yet nobody goes and david would he have one there too there they will not take your video down so we have another platform but the problem even the christian don't want to go there Let us see how many people will go there now. What do you think, guys? <laughs> I bet you, maybe 20. <laughs> you know, uh, do you know the free barbecue idea? This is how a human being work. Tell him we want to go to the church. Uh, church, I mean, what we will do? Tell him there's a free barbecue in the church. 
and see how many people will go free barbecue yummy yummy okay <laughs> like like the Muslims Muhammad he knew the nature of a human being this is why he spoke to him through his belly and his penis the devil knew exactly what you like Look how many subscribers I have there in minds. 661. 661. So why here I have tens of thousands? And we keep asking people, we keep saying, go there, go there, go there, but it doesn't matter. 661. Why? What is missing? As I said, you have to hold them from their hands, take them there, put them in the bus. And by the way, you can sign in. You don't even need to make an account. You can sign with your, with your Google account. Six hundred. 61 <laughs> that's a good number <laughs> you know the reason YouTube they control you because they knew that you are you are like stuck in YouTube this is why they are acting like 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 a, the, like the fascist like Hitler oh they cannot where they will go they have to stay with us where they will go huh Oh, don't worry about the 666. We always put it under our feet. Anyway, my friend, we always need to remember that in this fight, you know, it's it's bigger than what you think. And it's not their fault if they can ban a Christian from saying what he say. It's our fault if we don't support him. Do we agree? I get really upset always when I see a Christian is not getting support, support he deserves. I don't speak about David Wood because I know he have a lot of subscribers. But as uh, you remember, you know, uh, just a few weeks ago, I made a video to support Jay Smith. I mean, I was really upset that this guy, he got only a thousand review after a few days he posts his video. Why? A person who go from country to country to preach the gospel, to debate the Muslims, to, to bring the truth, to save people. And then we give him 1,000 view. Why? He's an old man. You know, you know if, when you are old, travel is not easy. Travel is hard for young people. Going all the way to Hong Kong, going all the way to, to Korea, going all the way to, to Africa, you know, risking his life. And then we give him 1,000 view. That's not fair. Or, you know, our friends in the speaker corners, uh, you know, Jacob and uh, Hatun, if I'm saying the name correctly, Suku film videos. They make a video, you know, they got like a thousand, two thousand people view. Why? If they are Muslims, you will see how they will have tens of thousands of view. You see, when a Muslim, he see a video made by a Muslim to defend Islam, he don't even listen to the video. He just give it a like and share. How silly, how stupid. This is why they support Muhammad Hijab. Muhammad Hijab, with, which the, a person who humiliated his prophet, exposed Islam in his debate. Still, the Muslim they think that this guy is doing great.
so my friend we have to support those who deserve our support you give a like for a video about uh, steak recipe how to make a barbecue shouldn't we do the same for those who risk their life for all of us all right and look at them they are terrified they don't dare to debate us all those who claim to be people who knows Islam they don't even dare to get close to me the one who called me is the one who is making the mistake of his life it's like never again do you remember that Sheikh Ruhi what happened to him do you remember the other Sheikh just a few days ago, you know like two weeks ago it's a mistake will never repeat again they knew that they just ruined their career or what about the guy from Nigeria Ustaz Ustaz Shish Kebab nice to meet you Ustaz how are you or Zach and Naik, he want me to come to him and debate him if I bring 2,000 people with me I cannot even barely pay for my ticket airline ticket you want me to bring 2,000 people with me why Or if you remember the guy who uh, live in uh, Hong Kong, a Muslim Abdul, they open a center to deceive people in Hong Kong. He challenged me to a debate. And then when I agreed, I said, sure, let us do it. He said to me, I cannot have a visa to come to USA. I said, "Who? why you need to come to USA? This is my Skype, call me. <laughs> no, 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 we have to do it face to face face to face face to face is an excuse so they will not get the close so my friend let us support those who need our support and you are not really supporting them you are supporting yourself at the end of the day they are doing what you cannot do imagine your son or your daughter she go online and she found only videos attacking Christianity and there's no Christian there to respond how horrible your son your daughter will be deceived and they will leave the true faith because they did not hear the right side of the story for we left the field to the devil so he can fool he can lie he can speak as much as he wish and there is no Christian to get him busted so having those people in you know in, in, uh, 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 in the social media is extremely important they are there for a reason we are there for a reason the Lord he used us in his own way if we don't have them it's like having a kitchen without a cook and yet you want to eat at the end of the day then whoever have food even if it's poison is going to present his food and the hungry is going to eat it don't let that happen to your children this is why we have a duty to support those who they fight for the truth and let us see by the end of this video even this video we did not teach really much about Islam but let us see how many people they would download and they will share and they will give support to our brother David Wood by the way some people think that I am uh, sometime I speak against something maybe David Wood he said I don't speak against him I don't agree with something like you know when he said uh, about Allah Akbar meaning he don't speak Arabic and I understand for me I have a duty to correct if somebody said something wrong but doesn't make the person bad and if I say something wrong he can correct me too we correct our each other as brothers 
And how many of you, even live on air, you call me and you say how this is how you pronounce the word in English, correct? I don't get upset, I don't get offended. Correct me. English is not my first language. So there is no offend. This is how family work with love and harmony. The one who make a mistake, the other one he correct him because of love not because of hate and this is the same we do to Muslims we don't hate the Muslims and we will never hate them actually if we hate somebody how we can invite him to the best place ever which is the kingdom of the Lord imagine you hate someone do you invite him to the kingdom of God no way so we always as a Christians we have always to have the spirit of the Messiah where all of us act as one family and we have one leader, one Lord, that is the Messiah. Not a bishop, not a priest, not a Christian prince, not David Wood, no one but the Lord himself. For man is a sinner and no good but God. And that is the Messiah. This is why the Messiah, he said to a man, why you call me good? And you know that the only good is God, which means you are you are calling me God. And the Messiah, he said, I am the good shepherd. And I know my sheep and they know me. So my friend, we are strong as always. And we are united. And we are victorious. China is coming to Christ as never before. I went to Korea and I could not believe it how a Buddha country became more than 85 to 90 percent Christians. The same exactly is happening today in China. China in less than 30 years, the major, the major belief in it is not going to be communist, it's going to be Christianity. And the Chinese government, they are doing their best to conquer Christianity from a growing. But the more they demolish the churches, the more we grow in number. And this is exactly what they are doing here. They think Christianity is a building. They think Christianity is a YouTube account. They think that Christianity is a person, we mute him. Christianity is not what you think. Christianity is God himself, the almighty Lord, and you are fighting with him. And you cannot win. We are victorious. You like it, you don't like it. We are. Those who don't know, mostly because they don't go and travel around. Islam is dying, even in the Middle East. Go and see how many Muslims left Islam, especially after the help of ISIS. May Allah bless them and give them the versions. There's many Muslims, they do not know really what Islam is about until they saw ISIS. That is the true Islam. And the Muslim, they spend billions of dollars to say ISIS is not Islam. But the fact, all of us, we knew that the true Islam is ISIS and ISIS is a true Islam. And actually, my challenge to all Muslims, to name for me one thing ISIS they did is not Islamic and not even done by Muhammad. Just one. And you will notice that everything ISIS they did, it was by the guideline of Muhammad and you too for sure so thank you Lord that the evil himself is exposing himself thank you Lord for all those who they are converting and they accepting the truth Thank you, Lord, for all those who call me live on air and those who speak to me not on air because they don't want to expose their voice. Thousands of people, they let us know. Just of videos we do. The Muslim, they say, why you don't show your face? If I am not showing my face and thousands of people, they left Islam, what will happen if I show my face? Let me tell you what will happen. The first thing will happen, you will have heart attack because I look so bad. The second thing will happen that you will never, ever go to YouTube because you are afraid to see my face again the third thing will happen should i continue 
the third thing will happen you will leave Islam guaranteed show me your face show me your face oh you will go yeah David would he show your face and, and well, what is next Sam Shamoon he show you his face and what show me your face <laughs> show me your face <laughs> I'm so glad they are asking to show the face not something else I mean you never know a Muslim in the other day he asked me if I am circumcised and I'm sure he was going to ask me to show it uh, if, if uh, you know uh, prove it you know All right so let us make it simple God is good and we are happy for who we are and we are victorious and nobody can oppress us and give support to all those who deserve your support no matter who they are you see there's many people today I did not mention their names but for sure they deserve our support when you see somebody fighting the cult promoting the gospel especially those who don't divide the Christians give them support all right the devil he will hate it when he see the Christians united and when I say the Christians is not the Protestant is not the Catholic is not the Orthodox the Christians is anyone who believe in the Messiah the Lord the Savior the Christians is the only one who believe in every word written in the gospel the four gospels of Jesus The Christians is those who believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. One God, not three gods. The Christians is the one who Jesus said to them, whoever believe in me and die will live. I am the truth. I am the life. I am the resurrection. And yet a funny Abdul will say to you, where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. Imagine he is saying, I am the life. And they said to you where he said I am God I am the truth where he said I'm God I challenge you brother a brother sister if we ask a Christian can you tell me one verse in the Bible where it said that Jesus said I'm God worship me you can find one this is a question the Muslim they keep repeating like Barut it's funny it's stupid and the first statement of Jesus to prove you false copy paste nobody even knows what they are talking about are you kidding me Jesus did not say I am God it's like a recording machine copy paste from each other anyway my friends I think we are done for today I will keep this video there for a few hours to see how many people of you would download it and share it and please give my uh, respect to our brother uh, David Wood and to all those who say the truth support them be with them and don't leave them alone and the pro you know, the promise of the lord is very simple you will not be left alone and we are not and we will never be for if god is with us who could be against us until i see you soon again May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again. Bye-bye.